Hi, welcome to another video. This one's going to be short and sweet and it relates to FAT32 file system on a USB drive. Let me open my file explorer. There we are. So the computer says it's a USB 16 gig. I put one picture on the drive Mandy42 copy bitmap. So notice it's more than 8 characters long excluding the BMP. With everything I've described for the FAT16 and FAT32 file system, does it work on a USB thumb drive formatted to FAT32? Put it to the test. I've actually, a spoiler, it's great news, it works. If you haven't seen my previous videos on the FAT16 and FAT32, and if you do not have prior knowledge of the file system, you will not have a clue what I'm talking about. So to be fair to the people that have watched my videos, I'm not going to go over it again. I'm not going to go over the calculations. What I will go over is I'm using a program HXD Hex Editor. And the first FAT16 file video showed how to find it on the internet. So it's already open. This is the boot sector for the USB drive. So HXD USB 16 gig. So this 4 bit count up here, that's the size of the USB drive. Just to remind you, see what this USB drive comes at. So hexadecimal, Windows calculator, little endian, so 1, D, 1, E, F, and is an E0, I haven't got my glasses on, 30 million and something, multiplied by 512 bytes per sector, equals nearly 16 billion. So that's a 16 gigabyte USB drive. So that's really good news. It works on the USB drive as well as the SD cards. So I'm hoping to move further with my PIC programming, whether it's 8-bit or 32-bit, because the read sector in the FAT32 library via Microelectronica does not work. So this is really good news. We can all move away from SD cards and go to USB drives. Offset 13, 10. So with the standard format, this Windows 10 computer has allocated 16, so hexadecimal 10, 16, it's allocated 16 sectors per cluster. I kept getting that wrong in the last video, didn't I? The FAT table, A40B, little endian. We need to know where the FAT table is. Cancel, so hexadecimal, B, A4, A4, right, so the FAT table, 2980, similar location to the SD card, so that's good, 2980 is the file allocation table, let's go there, 2980, there we go, there's one file in it, how do I know? Because F F F F F F zero F and nothing comes after it. So that tells me the end of the file for the picture I put on is at cluster twenty. And it spans this many clusters. Remember, sixteen sectors per cluster. You can tell I'm getting the hang of this. I'm really happy actually this is working on a USB drive. Those four numbers were the allocation in sectors to each file allocation table. 3A to E. Windows calculator, hexadecimal, 0000, 3A to E. 14,000. 894 sectors per file allocation table. 
remember we needed to multiply that by two probably because there were two fat tables so multiply by two equals 29,788 plus the location I'm referring to my notes plus the location of the fat table which was at 2980 so plus 2980 equals 32,768 that's identical to the root directory on my SD card what's, what's going on? yet you saw the numbers were slightly different let's go to 32,768 32,768 USB, that's the name of my USB stick I've noticed, so this is FAT32 the name is still cropped I see, oh, so you can see the long file name is there so the file name is Mandy42 she's not 42 but the picture size was 400 by 272 so Mandy42 copy dot bitmap I thought, but now I know I thought we would get the longer file name along here but we still don't so Mandy42 dot dot copy and then there's no extension for the bitmap before the actual name so this is, I'm learning as I'm going along as I said in my previous video so Mandy 4, that tilde is, means it's cut the name down, a long file name down. So Mandy 4, tilde 1, then 8 should be B M P for bitmap. This is still the file size. So remember I said that's something like 400 by 272 times... 16 bits per pixel so let's work that out I'll do it live do it live so if I make mistakes so decimal 400 times 272 equals that many pixels but then I've got 2 bytes per pixel because it's 16 bit color so multiply by 2 equals 217,600 and I'm not sure if this has got a bitmap header or whether it was created with Microelectronica's software if it's got a bitmap header it's going to be I don't know 60 70 bytes on top of this so let's work this size file size out hexadecimal zero zero so three five two four eight that is what I said it was going to be and if you remember from the previous video the bitmap always seems to add two bytes so that's the file size and same as last night just less well, I don't know eight ten hours ago that's the first cluster so cluster six minus two equals four multiplied by 16 so multiply by 16 16 being 16 sectors per cluster so we've got 64 on top of 32,768 so plus 32,768 equals 32,832 32832 and there is Mandy's bitmap BM for bitmap that's really good news the FAT32 file system works on an SD card and a 16 gig USB drive and the locations for all the data are identical I'm not sure if I said earlier, my read sector for the FAT32 library in Microelectronica software 
does not work. The system hangs. So hopefully I'll have more success trying to learn how to read a sector on a USB drive. So with this good news, I wish you a good weekend. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. If you like it, click like. If you want to make a donation, click on the link in the show more. Thanks for watching.